Hi there, I'm Paul. Welcome to my messy workshop. Uh, this video is documentation for the 2014 Summers Woodworking Birdhouse Challenge. Uh, I'll take a few videos as we go along and at the end I'll show you the finished product. Thanks for watching. At this point, I've cut all my pieces to rough size. Um, what I do is, I, after I cut them to right size, to rough size, I put a little piece of masking tape on them, and it indicates that it's what part it is, and that it's cut to rough size. Then after I cut it to the finished size, I just cross off the rough, and it's cut to size, and again, it tells me what part it is. And I keep everything together. And I set it aside while I'm working on another piece. There's my proof. It's for the Summer's Woodworking Second Annual Birdhouse and Build Contest. Um, one of the things I had to do with this birdhouse was I had to make an octagon. One of the parts is an octagon. And it's been too many years since I was in school, and I couldn't remember how to make an octagon. And it seemed like I heard somewhere that you could make an octagon using a framer square. So I went to the internet, and sure enough, you can do it. And what you do is you take your board, and you find, and you, and you mark the center going both ways. This board measures 11 inches by 11 inches. Then you go to the framing square, and on the back side of the framing square, on the, on the tongue, right here, this scale, is what you use to find how to make an octagon. And since this is 11 inches square, you take a compass, and you set it at the 11th mark. See if I can do this without having my hand in the way. There's 10. There is 11. So there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And I can put my square away. I don't need that anymore. Then you take your compass and on your board, you hold the point of the compass at the center mark and you just mark a tick mark with the compass at the setting that you set it on on the framer square. And you do this on all the sides. One more. There, once that's done, then you just take a straight edge and you draw a line from the tick point to the other tick point and draw a line. And you do that all the way around your, your board. And what I had done is I had made a pattern. And I was just going to adhere the pattern to this piece of wood and go over to my router table and cut it out. But this is so easy to do. And once you get the tick marks done, everything's at a 45 degree angle. So you just go over to the table saw, set your miter gauge at 45 degrees, and you cut these off. And you end up with an octagon. And just to show that all the sides are equal, we'll set the compass, run it out a little bit here, and we'll set it at the length of one of the sides. And there is the length of one of the sides. That's the same length, the same length. The same length, same length, same length, 
and the same length. So you end up with a perfect octagon with eight equal sides. That's the perfect hole for a wren or a chickadee. Now it's time to attach the hinges so we can open up the front of the birdhouse to clean it out. And there we go. And in the spring, uh, I'm gonna, what I'll do is I'll put a screw right up here. And in the spring all I have to do is take the screw out, drop it down, clean out the birdhouse, Put it back up, put the screw in, and you have a nice clean birdhouse for wrens or chickadees in the spring. <laughs>